All right, um, my, pro my name's Amber, and my project's called Our Hour. And essentially, what it is for everyone who doesn't go to Liberty North, it's, um, we have like this time in our day where you can do like, it's like a free time kind of, where we can go to clubs, get tutoring, stuff like that. So, yeah. And currently, right now, our Eagle Hour is half an hour long. And we have a pass system where you have to have passes to leave classes. And we also um, have to read on Tuesdays. But like the main issue with all of this is, is that, again, it's only half an hour. It used to be an hour long. So we could go and do, um, like, we'd have more time for things, more time for clubs, more time for um, to get tutoring, help, redo stuff, stuff like that. And also, um, we can't leave without passes and emails. A lot of teachers are really strict in my school. And we cannot, um, we can't, you have to go get an email or pass, like I said, to leave due to a club. But a lot of teachers won't like give you them, or they won't let you go unless you have, you definitely get them, and sometimes the passes don't go out, and you can't go to clubs, and I miss plenty of club meetings myself because of it. And um, the issue with Tuesdays and having to read on them is that we know, we have like, we only have like those 20 minutes to do, because like it's shorter on Tuesdays, so we only have 20 minutes to actually work on stuff. So. Um, when you have to read the whole time, a lot of people have no time for get work done, homework, go make up tests, and so forth. So, and that's the video I made on it. <laughs> we have is with clubs which we uh, well for one thing we've had so many clubs to span in the last couple of years my freshman year when we had our old Eagle Hour system where it was an hour long um, so we had a lot of time to go to clubs and a lot of clubs existed I was part of I think six clubs that year but now we only have like a handful of clubs left because we don't have the time for the clubs anymore and no one can go because we don't have passes and emails being sent out so a whole bunch of clubs are just gone and um, yeah, it's basically the main issue of clubs there. And then another huge thing is lunch. At Liberty North, we have a huge school, like huge, whole bunch of students. And we only have two lunch shifts, which does not give us enough time to be able to go through lunch and get um, food. Like a lot of people will wait till the lines kind of die down. But by the time the lines have died down, there's like maybe five, ten minutes to eat lunch. So it's just not enough time. And during our old year hour system, we used to be able to eat lunch whenever we wanted during that one hour. So there was never a line, so there was never an issue. You just go out, got your lunch when you're ready, and then you sat down and ate it. And then we have a huge issue with tutoring now. Again, a big thing with this with time. We only have 30 minutes to go and get tutoring or help on something. And um, a lot of people, for example, uh, one of my friends the other day, she wanted to go to a college visit. But she couldn't because she couldn't like risk like missing a test because she did not have enough time to make it up during Eagle Hour because a test takes up a whole class period which we have 45 minute class periods but only half an hour to go make it up and not a lot of us don't have time after school or before school so without Eagle Hour we don't we can't make stuff up so we can't miss days and um, again it's a huge problem with passes because teachers don't give out passes people don't have passes and you cannot leave the class with a pass. But the biggest issue is um, motivation slash consequences we have. Because a lot of people don't have motivation to go and get tutoring because there's no consequence at all. If you don't go to tutoring, then you might be given a detention. No one goes to detentions and there's no like consequence for not doing that. So people just don't go. 
I, if I've had friends who don't, if I got detentions, they don't go. There's no, like, nothing happens. They just don't go. And it's a real problem because so many people are just skipping tutoring. My brother, he's a great example of this as well because he has currently like two F's in his classes and I'm like, you know, you should really go get some help on that, get some tutoring. He's like, no, I don't have to, so why should I? Which there should be something pushing people to go get help. All right, so in my solutions of it is, again, adding more time, bringing it back to an hour, making lunch during it again, so we can get rid of the lunch lines and problems with lunch, and then creating either a blacklist or a gold list of some sort. Either make it where the people that are breaking the rules, littering, um, which was a huge issue my freshman year, not going to tutoring, they get punished, not everyone else. Not necessarily punished, but like, they have to stay in class and get tutoring or do something like that. While everyone else, gets to go and go to clubs, do whatever. And, or you can do the verse, vice versa and have where there's a gold list of people who have done things right and so they get those freedoms that everyone else doesn't get those freedoms. So uh, in conclusion, Eagle Hour right now is a needs to, system is pretty flawed. It needs to be fixed to make it longer, give lunch time during it, and to get less time during it, and um, be some sort of system to fix it, like some sort of consequences so people actually participate in it. So. Very good. Thank you very much, Andrew. Oh, um, I have a, I took a picture of a club, like a club picture that's like falling, like poster falling off the wall uh -huh. to show that the clubs are like disbanding and like being abandoned and such. You know, I was wondering, yeah, I really, when I saw that, I wondered if that, well, if that poster had like a significance to you. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, the poster within the poster yeah. uh, had a significance. So that's part of your message is, is there's neglect of these clubs. Mm -hmm. Very clever. And then my other, oh, no. Nope. Oh, I was just wondering if you know why your school decided to change that after your freshman year. I think it was a mixture of, like, I know that we got really, everyone got in trouble at one point in the year because people were, like, not going to tutoring and littering everywhere. So, like, it was a flawed system from the beginning. Okay. So I think making it go back, but, like, making some changes to it to, would be the best decision. Okay. Instead of chucking it all together. Yeah. Improve it. Okay. And then and my other thought, too, is, you know, typically, like you want a solution and time is the issue, but if you put time here, then you have to take time from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So I wondered what your thoughts were there. Um, well, I wanted to add lunch then, so you would take the two lunch shifts and you can add the time from those back to Eagle Hour. Okay. So is that how it's set up now? It's like they mm -hmm. broke Eagle Hour into Eagle half an hour, mm -hmm. and then the other two lunch shifts? Is that where that extra time went? I'm not really went? sure where all the extra time is from exactly, because I know lunch shifts right now are like 20 minutes, so okay. I guess sometime we go into either passing periods or classes as well. Gotcha. But. So they, there's 20 minutes for two lunch periods, and that's everybody eats, and then what is everybody that's not eating during that first shift doing? Um, we're in class. We have it during our fourth hour. You're either in class first half of fourth hour or gotcha. second half of fourth hour. Okay. So you have, you have solutions, but what, have you thought about what your steps might be to carry out some of those solutions? Or, you know, like, you know, folks have been talking about, well, we're going to use social media, or we're going to do this, we're going to do this. Is there, is there an after part to this that um, you think you're going to follow up with? Well, we have this uh, news program at my school called KNET, so I thought I could, like, broadcast the video on there and um, hang up some posters around as well, and just, like, try to get the word out to some, like, administration and stuff to okay. change it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Good job, Amber.